Well, I would like to say Vanessa because Vanessa is one of my favorite characters. Oh, yeah. yeah. So but she's unfortunately, the sweetheart, baby. yeah. But I do like that with the balance patches, mm -hmm. I feel like most of the cast sits in the A tier. A very, very viable sort of character. Definitely, definitely. I can agree with that. So that being said, one of the characters I want to see is my favorite, Moi Moi. She's my favorite character in the game, but a lot of the characters are extremely strong. Like Maiten Kun, I rate very highly. Good point. Um, also, Kula, I think, is one of the best characters in the oh, game. Yeah. Hands and down. You know Zha is going to go for that top tier. Oh, yeah. But here's the thing. With Mian on screen, now it becomes a matter of being patient, but also picking your spots. Oh, yeah. Because, again, with all the mobility options that she has and the ability to really snipe people out with that dive kick and all the meter she gains from it, Mian's a real serious problem, especially on point. And with um, Jaha definitely doing some work, not getting that life taken down just a bit. I like this runaway yeah. style, a little bit less aggressive than when we see Randall play Mian, but mm -hmm. uh, still it's going to work out really well, especially against Jao Hai, whose yeah. anti airs are so on point. You do definitely got to give him a second thing to think about. Oh, yeah. All right. There it is. Okay. Definitely getting these open. Nice as they're jumping on there with the blowback. And again, another great thing about Mian is that despite how people generally play her, Mian has some fairly decent buttons on her. Oh, yeah. Her, um, her ground buttons are yeah. phenomenal. Ooh. But this is huge damage. Spend that two barters immediately. All right, and again, the old school KOF 2000 UM. Jumping C from Kula. Possibly one of the most dangerous hitboxes in the game. I can't. <laughs> wow. It's been All right. Yeah, again, I like, so. Here's somebody we usually don't get to see. Somebody with a home court advantage, no less. Yeah. So Not so usually a, a highly represented character, but definitely can do the damage. Has the four bars, and you know this mm. is one touch. Masha is gonna play it calm. Yeah, and he's really, really just gonna have to put the pressure on. You don't want to give him so any opportunity to get his offense going because one of the big things about the transition from 13 to 14. Kenzo lost a little bit of speed and mobility, but what he lost in speed, he gained foreign power. He hits like a truck now. Oh, yeah. Mind you, yeah. he hit it like a truck in 13. Also true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so just a little bit more. Good use of the frost return there. Yeah. This is one of the problems with this matchup is that Kenzo mm. really has to use that slow fireball. It's one of his best tools in order to approach. Mm -hmm. But uh, obviously, Kula can just swap that back. But Kula is going to be taken out, going to go to the next Benny. Mm. He's one of the, like I said, I like to call him a Tokyo assassin, this guy right here. Oh again, a, well, all you need with Benamaru is just one bar, and that's half of somebody's life. Yep. Just that one good open. So let's see how soon we can maybe throw Xiaohai a little off his game. Because saying to throw somebody, throw Xiaohai off the game is not possible. But to just put a little bit of a stagger into him. All right, just go get him to stumble. All right, Probably to wanted the third, but it's too high. All right, decent trade. Goes to the X fireball. You know, so he's going to be on the back foot a lot because you don't want to give Venomal the opportunity. Yeah. But at the same time, the time works against you when you know, game play. That should be it. He's got the knee loops. Nope. Oh, he's just going to go oh, for two, but that's going to do the like trick that. anyway. And again, simple one bar combo. So dangerous, so effective. And now again, one of the guys you were talking about, Mason Cunning. Mason Cunning is somebody who. I'm not going to lie, I appreciate him as a new addition to the roster. Yep. I hate finding him. Oh, yeah. Because, again, there it because is. of stuff like that. Yep. Again, that slow fireball, the dash punch, the wake-up pillar, all these different things, just they make him such a dangerous character. Yeah. And because of his design, he is so unassuming. All right, trying to go for a couple of these, you know, fading light kicks. He has fantastic fireballs, great ground normals, mm. probably some of the best CDs in the game. You know, trying to go for that on-the-ground cross up right? Yeah. Hasumi just completely content on playing this back and forth, lame out, and then all of a sudden I'm coming in. All right, goes in. Nice chip on that one. I really Sets like the, the raw max mode style of this too. He's definitely just using this character's fantastic EX moves. And the thing that it's irritating, but it's so beautiful to watch. The, like, again, the lack of speed behind that fireball, it allows him to approach. You see it earlier. Yeah. Again, he throws out the fireball. And mind you, it's just a regular fireball. Still in Maximo, goes to the cross, no, goes to the crossover with the roll, tries to get an on the ground cross up, man. That is insane. And we saw some fantastic neutral from Kazumi, Kazumi just a Ooh. second ago, but he's going to get gripped. He's and you know, Yori, he's going to do some big damage. Ooh. All right. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh. That's now Kazumi. Uphill battle, but with the way Maiden hits, he could pull some miracles off right now. 
Yeah, not only is this character a fantastic defensive character, he also hits super hard. Right. Oh! Oh! That's oh, okay. what I'm talking about. I knew it was going to happen. Oh, boy. I didn't know if that was going to go through or not. Oh, God. And just slowly throws him off the game. You see the approach there. How do you go up against that? He's keeping himself safe with the yeah. pillow in front of him. That's such a smart idea. Ooh, but that right. trade, even That's though he's going to get hit out of it, is going to do it. That's going to go first it. up. It's going to be Hall. enough, basically. Yeah. All right, so again, Sean is going to be up one over Hassan. But again, we saw a little bit of innovation there. You see, I don't want to necessarily say like there's a dent in the armor, but again, maybe a little something to work to. Maybe a tiny little crack that started to show. Because again, if you can simply pressure Shao High with the type of projectile zoning, and the level of approach that Mason can have, maybe you can get something. Yeah, we saw pretty much as Benny completely ineffective, something yeah. you can't say about Zhao Hai enough. I mean, that's um, something, I'm not even sure that's something you can say about Benny Morrow as a character. I don't think I've ever heard those two words in the same yeah, sentence. Yeah, right? And then uh, it didn't feel like he had an answer for him as in Yuri, but he had the life lead and was able to trade enough times in yeah. order to take it. Now we're seeing it here again. Hasumi building up all that meter. Be patient. Gotta be careful right now. And again, that missile drop kick, man, it's gonna nail them. Uh, interesting idea. You go for the slide there. Just get He's out probably of the hoping that again it would auto correct and she would end up on that side. But again, she can control where she falls. Again, even right now, with like just the quote unquote minimum amount of offense that we're seeing, we had no Hazumi in the life we were suddenly go, but now, bam, here comes Shao Hai. Another thing to think about is that. Jahai is not getting any hits in, so he's not building any meter. No. Hasumi is almost at three bars. Yeah. And again, and even if he takes low, no, again, he's going to work with the life lead. Maybe get something out. Oh, no. Oh. Man, oh. Like that. I'm surprised he didn't go a little bit harder on that one. But I man. felt like he should have. That would have been a that would have been a, okay. a dead Kula, but this yeah. might be a dead yeah. Yen instead. All right. But again, we see it there. Effectively, they took Jahai's offense out of the match. Made him work that clock all the way down. Only 11 seconds. Not getting a lot of life back. And again, like you said before, no meter to work with. All right, so again. Oh, that's it. He just needs to yep. finish this up. That's good. The old school. Anyhow, like just from uh, sheer physical mechanics, that's always been a really impressive move to me. Oh, yeah. So we go for, like, you know, the one hand stand into the split. Like, that's, that's a trip. All right, but now again, we got Jaha's Benimar coming out. Now, the question is, like we just said, the last round, the Benimar wasn't as effective as Jaha is used to having. So can we see maybe a little bit of innovation, a little bit of improvisation from Hasumi's Kenso, maybe throw him off a little bit? Yeah, definitely. If you can give that Mason Kenso maybe a little bit more life versus Iori, we could see a different outcome from yes, the last. Yes, sir. Right, good mid-air blowback. Jump and go to the max mode. Oh, not bad. Oh, goes to Karada. Such a tricky mix up there. And again, that one bar. 22 hits. Not a great deal of damage done on it, but enough to take the life we can it. And just like that. The old bread and butter. Okay. So you can see here, but now, here it comes. Mainton come. Five bombs. We know what type of approach game Mason Kuno, Hasumi's Mason Kuno has. So now the question is, when is, you know, quote unquote, the battle going to break here? Because all Mason Kuno needs is a one simple opening up. One solid confirm, and that might be the match. Good uh, right, defense there. Empty jump low is going to open him up. He's going to go for the one bar. It still does a ton of damage. All right. Goes to the maximum. Tries to go for the no jump in. Oh, wow. Completely dodges. Damn. Completely dodges the forward B with the neutral jump there. That was really impressive. And had the right. perfect answer for it on top of that. Okay, now. 36, no, 36 seconds left. He's going to get a decent amount of life back. And this is going to put us where we wanted to see. Mason Kun's going to have enough life, even on meter right now. So, again, it really boils down to can Hasumi really just, again, get Shao Hai to make one or two missteps and maybe take this round. That's all about the use of these EX moves mm -hmm. here for Hasumi. 
definitely an interesting way. Oh. He's going to confirm into it. All right, he's just going to go for the one bar. I like it. Okay. And that way he's going to get more raw max modes. Yep. Again, just have to sit there and wait out that projectile. Man. That is maddening to me. I really appreciate that he's still going for regular fireballs in max mode, and it's making Zaohai really afraid because those EX fireballs are super fast. All right, let's say decent trade back and forth with the mid-air blow backs. It's open. Oh, Ooh, so it is. Yeah, that That's should really do good. it. All right, again, but nonetheless, Zaohai walks away. The victor on this one, but really makes you wonder. We saw a couple of things here. Yeah. Could there be, you know, a game plan for him? I hope people are paying attention. I hope people are taking notes. I don't, again, I don't think anybody who's going to go in the top eight isn't watching this right now, honestly. 